Hi everybody, welcome to Soul Tribe Huddle. I'm really excited tonight because tonight we have um, partner of the month for August sharing her wisdoms with us. So I'm not going to sit here and chat away. I'm actually going to spotlight you, Moni. I hope that's okay. That's fine. I'm Sorry, you don't get much choice in this. <laughs> that's what I do. So, um, you know, I just want to say a big congratulations. You are just, you've worked really hard and I, I understand the challenges that you've had. I know that there's been a massive amount of fear for you around diff in different areas. And I just, you know, I don't know, I'm speaking for, for myself here, but I'm sure a lot of the team have noticed how much you've grown since you've started this business. I mean, how long has it been, Moni, since you started? When did you start? I started the business in June last year, and I started the business in October. Hmm. So it's been just over a year on the product, and then anniversary of the month. Yeah. So, so it's been a year, nearly a year. Yeah, nearly a year. So, and you know, I remember that first conversation that I had with you and Maxine. And, you know, how scared you were to even start. You were just terrified, weren't you? Do you want to tell people about that, what, what you were afraid of? Um, I'm I think that what I was afraid of was putting myself out there because I had been, I live on a hillside overlooking the ocean. And I'd been the hermit on the hill for about seven years bringing up my son who was going through some rough times as a teenager and he needed lots of support. And I was kind of, wondering how it would be going in the world, which is what I see this. But at the other side of things, it was really good to actually be able to work again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, I do remember that that was very real for you. You were afraid of really putting yourself out there and sharing your story on social media, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't with Facebook. I was on Instagram and Facebook to me, it always seemed quite difficult and clunky and I couldn't understand it, but now I'm kind of getting it mm. slowly. Yeah, I think, I think you're amazing. I really am. You've just grown so much. I mean, so I'm just going to delve into a few of those challenges that you've had. If you, you know, you don't have to share everything. It's totally up to you what you share. But I think that this could be really helpful for a lot of the team because, you know, there's, there has been a lot of fear for you in different areas. And I know that's something that we all come to. At some point in this business, there's some kind of fear that we come across. So tell me about your biggest challenge that you've had. Or, you know, a big challenge that you've had. With the business? Yeah. Is putting my face on the profile page. Hmm. But you did because it. Yes, I did it. It took me eight months, but I had two photos up there, one of the view out of the National Park and one the back view of me doing Aikido, and then I changed it to a half face picture of myself, looked dressed up in a costume, and then I got to Melbourne, Maxine and I had a photo shoot down by the river, and I finally got a picture of myself as I am up, yeah. and I guess that was the hardest thing to be seen. No, I'm talking to the play tonight. Hang on, I'm just going to mute. Sorry. I don't know who that is. Sorry, Money, go. Keep going. That's all right. Because I have Parkinson's and my face doesn't move when I want it to and the way I want it to move. So I can be feeling really, really happy and people look at me and think, oh, she's such a sad sack, whereas in fact I'm not and I'm really enjoying myself usually. So that was one of the major things, was being seen for who I am. Yeah. So, you know, it's, and, and I know that that's been a big, a big challenge for you is, you know, your, the Parkinson's. I know that that's been something, even just doing your daily DMO, isn't it? It's really challenging for you some days. Yeah. So, do you want to tell us about that? Well, some days I am, and I'm much, much better than I used to But some days I get up and my hands won't move and do what I want them to do, so I'll, do stuff on my phone, but to do stuff on my computer, I have to kind of, I can do stuff in 10, 15 minute bursts, 
Other days I'm completely fine and I can just sit down and work it out in an hour. Um, yeah. You've got somebody coming. So ask me another question. Do you see what Kieran said? Your light shines yes. brightly from the inside out. <laughs> Bless you, Kieran, your sweetheart. It's so true. That's so true. And you know what? What really, what really amazes me through all of this, because I know there's been many times when you know we've been on phone calls, or there's been something come up in a, in a message or something, and you've gone, okay, so there's a block. Okay, so there's something happening here, and I don't know what to do. And you know, you ask for advice, and you find it, and next thing you're doing it. You know, I mean, even like when we're talking about team, for example, like I know there's been a block for you around that. Do you want to tell tell people what what that was for you, what you were afraid of there? Happy to talk about that. My son, in the last two and a half years he lived at home, was suicidal and depressed because he couldn't get work, but also because he'd been bullied in his last few months at high school. So I had to be very available and hold space for him because that's what I wanted to do. To I felt like at a time in his life, he needed someone to stand with him. So when he left home and got a job and went to live in Nelson, it was like, job done, tick. And I realized I actually needed to just be by myself for a while and not be responsible for anyone. So I was looking at that when it came up to my having team and I was thinking, why am I blocked on this? And it was like, right, I don't want to be responsible for anyone yet. I just want to find my own rhythm again. So I'm kind of through that now and I'm looking for team. Mm. I know even just reaching out to people was difficult for you to do, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't sure how I would be seen, like if I was going to be seen as a juice plus viewer or be indulged because I was sick. Mm. Yeah. But you mean, so people felt sorry for you because, so that, that you were sick, so they would just join you, or is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. Because talking to a friend of mine who has my, multiple myeloma, and she said she used to think that people looked at her with pity. And I said, yes, I used to think that too, but they're actually looking at you with kindness. And I have a very strong philosophy of looking on, not the bright side, but reframing things and looking at them as a gift from the universe as to what. Sorry, we lost you in that last bit, Moni. What was that after reframing? Um, I'm not a positive bunny. I just think that the universe delivers me lessons to get on with and to do the next stage. Mm -hmm. And it's helped that I've been a counselor and nurse therapist for years beforehand because I've had training and stuff like that. But I find it so amazing that people come into our lives and they bring with them a gift. And usually that gift is something to do with your own personal growth. Mm. And yeah. That's a really great attitude. I love that attitude. So is that what helps you get through your challenges, the fear? Tell us how you get through that. Um, sometimes I react I'm in my head all the time, so I do, not a meditation, I do Aikido, and Aikido is about resolving conflict in a way that everyone's in a win-win situation, so it's, for me it's moving meditation, and it's about how you connect with people, so I've lost track. So you want to always, yeah, I guess it's my journey to be an agent of change and a counsellor. That's what my name actually means, counsellor, Monica. And I've lost my train of thought again, so I'll go. That's all right. That's okay. I guess, I guess well, I'll ask you again in a simpler form. Um, how have you got through the fear? Looked at it and looked at me. And decided to look at fear. But I believe the opposite of fear is love, and that's what's really important. I really love 
business because I love the product, but I also love the company approach. Mm. That you, yeah. you actually are here looking after people. And mm. I wouldn't sell anything. I used to work for a sailing company and I could sell sailing because I love sailing and I can sell this because I love the products. And I also have wonderful support from people around me who just encourage me. Mm. So, you know, and I know that's something that you've really, really kind of embraced is that the, the, is the community, isn't it, with this yeah. business? Yeah. Yeah, very much. Yeah. It's really nice meeting a bunch of people who have a passion about helping people. Mm. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> so is there anything... Just, sorry. The other thing I think about the team is that we support each other and we're non-judgmental and we just accept that people are going through stuff and I notice on our Soul Tribe page people will support each other. Mm. I love that too. I love that. That's, that's, that's my thing. I'm all about connection. So, yeah, I agree with that 100%. So... Um, I mean, is there anything that you really want to share, something that's really helped you? Um, you know? Yep. Two things. <laughs> um, that when you're listening to someone and trying to find their story and their pain, the moment when you're starting to get bored by it all is the moment where you need to pay, pay, pay closer attention to it because your body is going, oh, no, oh, no. Is something emotional going to come up here? And so I listen to that and look at my wanting to shut down conversations and I stick it out and wait because there's nothing as beautiful as connecting with someone heart to heart and just being in that space without expectations or judgments. I also do NVC, nonviolent communication, and that's really taught me to be able to sit in my heart and be available to people. The other thing I really love is the support. That wasn't the one I was going to say. Mm, even now. Anyway. That's all right. We can come back to it. We can come to it, back to it. So if, if anybody has any questions for Moni, please uh, um, type it in the, in the chat or come off mute. I'm sure she's more than happy to answer them for you. So much wisdom and gold here, Moni. Thank you so much for sharing. That's um, right. Yeah, because I didn't... Write... I'm to... Sorry? I'm glad I'm able to do it. I got over my fear. <laughs> I know. Actually, it's really good you say that, but there's no way that you would have even, you know, shared your story at one point, was there? No. No way that you could have even done that. So the fact that you are... Spotlighted here, and you're talking, answering questions. It's just huge. I was even wondering whether you'd be able to do it. That's why I asked you yesterday if you'd be happy to do it. So, I've been moving my, my like you know, when you look at yourself on your phone. I realised that the first time I did it when I was launching, I was sitting in the back of the room, and it was very dark, and no one could see me. So I've been slowly moving my camera into a position where I can be seen, which is reflective of what's going on. Yeah, that's incredible. You're blo you, and you are, you know, like um, Kieran is right. You're just glowing now. You're just, you're shining much more than you were. So, you know, you're a, you were just a fragment of your, of yourself really earlier. So it's really changed. Have you seen here what this, what the team is saying? Yes. These lovely comments. They're so lovely. She, she is wonderful. Such a great leader, so much wisdom. Yes, 100%. I agree with Maxine. You are an amazing leader. Now, is there anything else you want to share, Moni? Not that I can think of at the moment. Okay. Well, if you want to share later, I'm just going to talk about something else quickly. But if you want to share, um, take yourself off mute or pop it in the chat and I can pop you back on Spotlight. Okay. Yep. Anybody else got any questions for Moni? Big congratulations to you. I just think this is just the beginning for you. So, you know, just watch this, this woman shine. 
<laughs> create amazing things because I tell you what, the rate you're going, you'll have a nice little team by the end of the year. I'm hoping so. Yeah, you're great. You're awesome, Lonnie. You're amazing. Yes. And you are ready for it. The fact that you've walked through a lot of those limiting beliefs. I mean, remember when I did that limiting belief training and we had to shout out our... Uh, <laughs> that was... You <laughs> that was entertaining. Shouting off the balcony with while I was self videoing. Yes. yes. <laughs> I loved it. It was great. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to cancel the spotlight. Thanks for sharing, Moni. Thanks, Tanya. You're welcome. Okay, so um, I just there's just a couple of things I just want to talk about. And first of all, I just want to say you guys are amazing. We had an awesome uh, month. I'm going to just put you this so then I can see you all. We had an awesome month. Month. We had nearly 40 customers, which is uh, an absolute record. We've never had that many customers in the team before. So I've had a wee chat with. Uh, with Kat and Linda and Linda is super keen to come and chat with us when we get to 50 customers this month so no she's totally happy to work with with us because um Kat's kind of putting us up on a little pedestal here and going this team are amazing they're ready to you know get up, up level or level up in more training so, and more, you know, quality time with Linda. So, otherwise, if you guys are, if you guys would prefer to have Adam, I can arrange Adam, but I thought you guys would really love to have Linda. So, are we all yes. Linda? Thumbs up if you want Linda. <laughs> I thought you'd be happy about that. Um, so, yeah, so she's more than happy to work with us. And then going forward, there may even be some other opportunities around you know, use, having Linda come in to support us with lots of other things. So I'm really excited and I'm going to still keep bringing Kat on maybe once a month onto our huddle. So, you know, if you've got any questions or anything that you want to ask her, I'll try and bring her on in a couple of weeks um, again. So if you've got any questions or anything that you want for her, just kind of write them all down and we will make the most of it when she's on with us. Um, yeah, so we, sorry, do we have to wait for 15 new customers. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's not that hard when we got nearly 40. Yeah, month. yeah, so you know, I mean, if we look at it as you know, so what, what drives customers is promotions, so supporting your team to get promoted is what's going to build that customer base. So yeah, if that yeah. means bringing on new team and getting them promoted and helping them to get promoted, or if it's helping your existing team to get promoted, or if it's getting yourself promoted. So, you know, if we look at, if you're an STVF, it means that you can get yourself qualified. I mean, that's going to bring you a lot more um, income in terms of creating that beach money. So giving yourself more commission on top of what you're already getting. But it also means that you're going to need more customers for that and, and you know to do that bring on team get them promoted promote your existing team so if you're a dvf getting to sdvf if you're a vf getting to dvf you know like so really fine tuning what it is that you want focusing on what your goal is for this month so you know thinking about it what does what is everyone's goals for this month does anyone have a goal uh yeah <laughs> what would that be, Kieran? SDVF? Uh, freaking SDVF. Great. Sarah's got SDVF too. Kieran's got SDVF. Well, do you know, getting to SDVF and, you know, we can look at restarting you again, Sarah. We can talk about that tomorrow night. Yeah, we could look at that. But having that interest there again for you, Kieran, too, we could restart you, but you need to have that structure in place would be really good first. But we can talk about that tomorrow night anyway. Um, Jess said that, yeah, yeah, we can do that, definitely. Anyone well, so else? Yeah. How, many, how many people are in your team? How many customers do we need to get? 
how many people are in my team or how many customers do we need? No, how many people are in your team? So I've got, I think there's about 42. So, um, so one that, each plus a few people getting more than one. Yeah. But of that, course, that, that's, that's not hard at all. That's actually really easy, but we do I have some teams. Way. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you said that. Um, but then of course we've got teams that aren't really doing much. You know, so, um, you know, because they don't, they're not interested in, in doing anything more than what they're doing. They might only be on just to get their products a bit cheaper. So, but I mean, yeah. if, we, if you if you make it, so remember we have the five and one bonus as well. So remember when you have five customers, one team member in the month, you I think this month you get a hundred and fifty dollar bonus. So that's really nice. So if we're all getting five customers and one team member, we're going to have eighty team. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 80 customers. Yeah, rock on. Oh, That'd be great. Yeah, what's that, Kieran? So if we get 80 team members, can we wheel and deal and get two half-hour sessions with uh, Linda? I'm Just sure saying. Would, I'm sure she would be more than happy to jump on two calls if we get 80 team and more than 80 customers. That means this team's rocking it out the ballpark and then some. That's Just right. saying. That's right. So, so you know, and the, the, the one of the reasons why uh, why um, Linda wants to, you know, support us with training and things like that is because she sees the potential in the team. You know, like she knows that, you know, this team uh, can do really, really well because we're already growing. We grow every single month. And so, you know, the, she can see that there are so many leaders and potential leaders in this team. So it's in her best interest to be supporting us anyway. Obviously, she's invested in our success. But also remember, she's a heart-driven woman and she wants to support where there's potential. So if there's potential there, she wants to be able to support us. So she's absolutely, you know, I can say right now that she will definitely give us two maybe hour sessions if we get 80 team. No limitation. No, not at all. So, so then, um, how many workers do you think we've got in your team? Well, I would say probably the people that are on the call, people that come to the trainings, um, plus maybe a couple more would be the workers. Right. So, I mean, you know, I mean, when I think of my front line, um, you know, I mean, they say that I know that's something that Adam always talks about is really to have six working team, you need about, is it 30? Is it 30 front line that you need, Maxine, to get six working um, team? Is that I'd how say much? One, and, one and six. Well, one and, one and six. Um, is going to take it all the way, and yeah. then maybe another one will do a bit, and then maybe another one might do a tiny bit occasionally, out yeah. of six people. Yeah. 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 So um, when I think about it, I mean, I've got a lot of workers. I have a lot of workers. But so you've no, got about no. 15, maybe. Sorry? You've got about 15 at least then. 18. You say you've got 18. Front 18 front line, but I mean, if when we talk about the whole team, I don't know, it would probably be a third or maybe maybe half who are workers. Because you've got 80% of your, so 80% of your team are only ever gonna do a small amount. You know, they're either in it because they're a customer and they want to get their product a bit cheaper or, you know, they've jumped in and they've kind of lost interest. Um, and then you've got about the, the, the last 20%. The 20% is made up of 15% of people who are going to do a bit more. So they might, you know, get TCVF, they might even get themselves qualified, but they're really not really in it for the long game. It's more about just having that extra income, you know, that, that income that's going to, give them a weekend away occasionally or, you know, a, a dinner out or something. 
and then you've got your 5%. 5% are the ones that are going to really want to have that income. It's going to want to get to NMD, have that NMD income, create that real freedom lifestyle. So when you think about that, when you think about your team, that's like, you know, bringing in, I mean, it took my first three team before I got someone who was a worker. That's a lovely lunch over there. I'm just going to mute you, Maxine. You're upside down. I know. How the hell did I do that? That's bizarre. <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> yeah, it's <you're> strange. <laughs> it's strange, girl. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's that, that, <laughs> but the key is, but it's really good to have those people who aren't really doing much because they are the ones that keep you qualified. Because when you talk about qualification, once you get to SDVF, you have in the next month you have the you you know you you're able to qualify your business, and to qualify your business, you need your own customers and you need VFs and DVFs under you because they are the ones that are going to keep you qualified. So it's really good to have workers and people who aren't doing so much because they're both they're all going to be um, benefiting your business somehow. Do you get that? Yep. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm, all I'm trying to do is basically work out roughly um, of all the workers in your team, how, how many customers each that's going to be. So it sounds like something like three each or something to you get know, to I, 50. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, three to five is a really good number. So, um, you know, like having your survive goal is a three customers and your thrive goal is five. Because wouldn't it be nice to have that bonus as well? So, um, I don't know if you guys use the Freestyle Monthly Goals Tracker. I mean, you probably, if you don't have team, you probably don't use it. But it's really good to have somewhere, I don't know if it's on your calendar or a piece of paper in front of you where you write down... My, my survive goal for, for um, customers this month is this much. My, my thrive goal is this much. And then for team as well. So what is your survive goal for, for team? And what is your thrive goal? So how many is your minimum? How many team minimum do you want a month? No one? Oh. <laughs> How many did you say, Kieran? No, I said, oh, to thrive, I would say I would love four team members a month. Right. That's a good four. thrive goal. That's a good. And remember, the more, that you, the more that you push out your thrive goal, the more likely you're going to achieve it. You're not necessarily going to achieve four, to four team a month, but you're more likely to push yourself past your minimum goal, past your survive one. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're going to want to at least get that. Yeah. Well, my I just want to get off a home plate right now. <laughs> Fuck. Excuse my language. Not the feeling, hun. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm rowing my walker. I will get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't fabulously, Kieran. You really are. You know, and. <sighs> Remember too that a lot of this business is that is that personal growth. That's huge. Oh, riding that tsunami, absolutely <laughs> riding the bloody wave. But yeah, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you know, is there any is there any questions? Do you want any help with anything? I know I've got a call with some of you tomorrow night um, to help you get your restart goals happening. You know your big elevate goals happening um you had calls with jess um so i'm happy to walk you through you know the basics tomorrow night but a few thanks tammy nice to have you on tonight lovely bye hazel um yeah so if there's any questions you want that's different from that then just you know ask me now happy to answer Well, Go for it, I've got one. Yep. Um, 
as much as I would like to do lives in the evening, it just never seems to work very well. So what's the best time to do lives? Just the same time as posting, morning or midday? Or does it not really matter? Does people kind of watch them anyway? Yeah, just well, trying to um, work. generally it's when people are like on their lunch break or it's after work. So if you can catch them on their lunch break, I don't know, from maybe one o'clock, I don't know, has anybody found, who's, who does lives in here? Sarah, have you found any? Kieran, you do them too, don't you? You do them too, don't you, Emma? I do lives in the um, morning once the kids are up at school if I'm going to do it. But because I know it goes on to your stories and yeah. everybody can see your stories anyway. And I think they actually save on your page so you can go back and reshare it later if you want to because I have found a live that I did and I thought, oh, well, I reshare this. So I reshared it. Um, but I just do it in the morning because it's the most easiest time for me when I know that the house is quiet, the kids are at school, um, so I'm not going to get any interruptions. But yeah, from a person that actually goes to work during the day, I would actually like to see lives at about one, two o'clock while I'm having my lunch break. What about you, Karen? Do you agree? Yeah, I, I tend to do mine in the morning just because it's more convenient um, for me, probably. Um, but yeah, no, lunchtime would be good. But having said that, I I'll watch people's lives anyway, you know. That's what I'll, I'm thinking. I think Facebook kind of lo really likes lives and videos. So yeah. I find if I do a live, then it says there's, you know, later on there'll be 50 views. Although a view is apparently when they've only watched it for three seconds, it comes up as a view. Yeah. So it doesn't mean they've watched the whole thing. But, um, well, I think you do a live, it keeps coming up for people anyway. Yeah. Exactly. And well, it, it, it creates more curiosity as well. It's, it's, it's something different that's not a post where you don't have to read it. Like the day job, like Maxine, I've seen a couple of yours. I've propped my phone up and I'm busy at work, but I'm watching you. <laughs> so. Well, I must admit. Well, it's nice to know. I'll have to up my game then. If you're sitting there watching me, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, Keep it my up, God. <laughs> <laughs> You've got sassy pants watching you. That's not good, Max. <laughs> you don't. You don't want to know where I watch you, okay? When I um, <laughs> when I'm mute wearing, on. I've got my headphones in my jacket pocket with my phone, and I find, oh, is it time to go to the toilet? Oh, let's go watch some videos. <laughs> oh my God. Oh I, I almost went to the toilet when I was on a, co a Zoom call once oh, and I thought, geez. I'm on a Zoom call, I'm not actually watching a live, I'm on a Zoom call so people can see me. In terms of your live question, so I found that I do them in the evenings and the afternoon. So usually about between one and two. And I actually get more watches between one and two than I do at night. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting because I don't get many at night. Yeah, neither do but, I anymore. But if I'm going to get them, it might be. Okay, so I thought 12 to 1 was the window. Um, and I'm usually like at 1, I'm like, oh, everyone's gone now but it's one if one was a signature yeah, that might be great yeah I'll I'll anyway it's probably just so i have a question to ask yep um are we allowed to use the name to juice plus in that advertising now because i've noticed that some people are and i wondered if it had changed yeah i mean um jp have um you know created all these images uh, for us to use with Juice Plus all over them because yep. they're all about being real and transparent and you know sharing research sharing stories but being really clear around not um, not claiming anything not making any claims around health you know healing people and curing people that kind of thing yep, I read all the stuff yeah, but I, mean, I still think it's up to you, Moni, because, I mean, we've still got the leaders saying, look, you want to create curiosity. And personally, I like that curiosity aspect of it because people really want to know, you know, it means that people want to ask you. They're, they're going to have more, take more interest. Um, 
So it's really up to you what you want to do. Do you okay. know where all the, um, all the images are? Yeah, the, and the um, profile files? No, they're in, um, they're in a HO uh, in um, Juice Plus right. in New Zealand. They're in a file in there. Do you know where they are, Max? Oh, sorry, what was that for? Oh, the new images. The new images that JP have created for us to use since the compliance um, change. They're in a file. I've got, them. Uh, I've got them somewhere, so I'll, I'll yeah. do with them, money. I'm sure there are. Them. I'm sure if you go into the franchise group and you just search new uh, images, Juice Plus images, then it'll come up. Okay, cool. Yeah, in there too. Yeah. Uh, under, I think it's under the product, uh, under the resources button. Yeah. Bottom, bottom right hand side. If you click on that, there's a list, and then it's got new. Oh, it's got some a link to all the okay. images and videos and things like that. Yeah. Thanks. So, okay. I have a question. Yeah, go for it, Kieran. And this is probably it's a random one. How the hell? excuse my language, do you get people to respond to your posts? Because as of to date, I've had one response. So am I overdoing it, sharing too much information, not creating too much curiosity or any pearls of wisdom? How often are you posting daily? At least four or five times a day. So maybe reduce that. Okay. Maybe two, three. Um, and start putting like, maybe do the odd live. Okay. Um, or, you know, pop the odd video up. Okay. Um, Facebook love lives. They love videos. Okay. Um, yeah, just, just maybe don't share quite so much just and, and, and kind of fine tune it. Like, I don't know if you want to do themed days or, um, because I know one of the things that, that um, who was it that was on? Was it? Um, who was that it does that, the branding. Yeah, who was it that shared now? What's her name? Val. Val. When Val shared and she talked about um, like making sure that you're like, when you do your stories, that your stories kind of flow into each other. So they're not kind of random stories that are all over the place. They kind of have a theme. Yeah. Right. Tanya, can I mention something? Yeah. Is it true that um, the, the reason why we go through and also like our friends' pages and posts and things like that, it actually also encourages Facebook to realise that you're actually communicating with them? Yeah. So then you're then post that they're being seen by them. So that you're active. Way too. Yeah. Yeah. You're active. So, you know, talking to them in Messenger, loving and commenting on their posts, yeah, shows that you're an active user of Facebook. So they're going to show your posts to all, more of your friends. Yeah, because I've actually found that too. The people that I haven't been following for a while and I've gone on and started liking their posts, their posts are now coming up on my newsfeed too. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's why it's really important to have like love and like love and kiss, what well, they say, hug and kiss on your um, news feed, your um, friends on your news feed as well as part of your DMO. Uh, yeah, I do all that. I yeah. Just, yeah. Like I said, with the posts and stuff, I've only got two probably. Yeah. Out of the entire think, time I've been doing it. Well, I think, I think Kieran, you know, the other thing is, you know, in terms of your time, that your time yeah. is valuable, you know, you work full time. And so I would just be looking at how can you be more efficient in that time? And so yeah. if it means less posting and maybe more conversation, more adding new friends, um, yeah. are you adding new friends? No, that's my sticking point. Yeah. I'll be honest with that one. Yeah. So I do, yeah. yeah. And, and maybe going into and looking at a couple of interest groups and maybe having a conversation, starting conversations in those groups, maybe once a day, maybe making yeah. a difference going into a different group every day. So instead of posting so much, just put it, maybe put your focus more into those groups and interacting and making new friends from that. Or just finding new friends from your suggested friends. 
Oh yeah, I have a bunch of those. I've probably I've got I've had a couple of random friend requests, but I have a hard oh, time amazing. accepting um friend requests really, really when it's so. just yeah, a profile really update so. and okay. I can't Bye. see anything else. And that's Bye. probably Bye. a okay. um Bye. yeah. Living in America for the last twenty five years there's a bit of a security thing on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, so I guess so that for you then it needs to be something that you've got to step through. You've got to step out of and realise that you are safe, that you still have the power, that if someone turns out to be a real weird weirdo or fruitcake, then you can still delete them. Yeah, these are three guys. There's, it's three different people. They're guys and they've, I, yeah, I don't know if I can do that, Tan. Not at the moment. No, if they're, if they're guys and they've got nothing on their page. Oh, there is nothing on yeah. them. Do you know what, Karen? Well, you, don't have to, you don't have to be adding people that you don't want to add. I'm not saying that. Oh, but okay. I'm saying in terms of you suggesting, like if you're going through a suggested friend list and stepping out of that zone where you can go, okay, I like this person, I can relate to this person, I'd love to yeah. know more about them and have them as a friend. So that Oh, kind yeah. Of, that, yeah. That I can do. Yeah. I just. I don't like accepting people you don't want to accept. You don't have to do that. Like, oh, good. I mean, because I can see, well, there's a couple that I know that are connected to you and Pete. I'm okay with those, blah, 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 because we've talked about them before. But I've got these all these random new ones. I'm like, uh, yeah, nah. Can I make a suggestion, Karen? What I yeah. did, um, yeah. because I had a lot of friends before I started this anyway, I actually went through and I reset everybody as friends or close friends okay and then I went through because I was afraid of people random people seeing photos of my kids because I really protect them and so I went through all my albums and I set it, all my albums that I didn't want everybody to see as only close friends can see so for yeah. example the tribe um, and family and very close friends are my close friends that I trust to be able to see those things everybody else that are new friends that I don't know very well are just mm -hmm. friends and they just see the stuff I want them to see. So I've actually updated my privacy a lot since right. I've been adding random, pretty much random people that I don't know from a bar of soap. Mm. Uh, so yeah. I can relate to that too. Yeah. yeah, you can also choose when you're putting a post up whether it's going public or just your friends are seeing it. It's another exactly. thing. So if you've got yeah. a more personal post that you, you, that you don't want the general public to see, then you can just choose to have your friends to see it. Yeah. Yeah, you know my, my my book's an open life at this point, so I I I have that public thing. Huh? My like my, my book's open. <laughs> <laughs> so the vulnerability and all that stuff is there. Whatever. Um, I'm the same, it, Karen. You know, it's, I'm the um, same. My book is on the Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, it's. And and I've got really good feedback from it. So it's just, I guess, moving beyond crossing the bridge, I guess, and, and getting people to man up. <laughs> we'll get there. It's, so a, it's, a, it's a building relationships business, that's for sure. You know, Parker, you know this Facebook training that I'm doing with that woman that did the Juice Plus webinar? Um, she's actually saying... Um, you should post a minimum of five to seven times a week, but you don't need to post more than ten times a week. So you're all, Which is um, from yeah, what we've been doing. Yeah, I know that, um, uh, what's her name, Sophie Hughes only posts once a day. Well, she's saying, she's saying I mean, we were told, oh, you need to post two to three times a day to keep the algorithm going well I don't think that's true because she's saying five to seven times a week um you know up to ten times that's that's the maximum really which is pretty much what Sophie does once a day yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. well maybe the algorithms are changing maybe the way they're doing it is changing now she's saying that they're basically rewarding um posts that create conversation and videos they're the two things that facebook wants to see mm. they want to see genuine conversations and they want to see videos in fact she said they're trying to move 90 percent of posting to video so they're really pushing people to make videos 
There's some really cool apps too that you can get, that you can get that helps you create really nice videos as well. Like what? Yeah. So I've got. <clears throat> There's one called Ripple, R-I-P-L. Yeah, that's the, one um, that and that, that's the one that I've got, R-I-P-L. Hang on and I'll show you. You just select photos and then it turns them into a video. You see that? That's yeah. it there. Yeah. 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 It's, a re it's a really good one. Yeah. So, um, you know, in lives, you know, when you're creating um, conversation on your lives, even if you're just saying hello. Okay. And if you can do polls, Pete and I can't do polls for some reason. Some of our friends can, but we can't. So if you can do them, they're a really good one. So like Maxine was saying, that creates conversation because you're asking a question and you're wanting people to respond to that. Polls in your I get, I do get polls on my story. Um, but yeah, I mean, Karen, you could try asking a question. Actually, one of the posts I find gets me quite a lot of response mm -hmm. is that one that we quite often put up where we say, "Who wants to, who wants to have more energy?" And then there's a whole list of things that people want. I don't know, maybe it's not compliant anymore. Yeah, but I don't think that's compliant. That used to be quite a good one. Yeah, it was, but I don't think it's compliant anymore. How I think, come? I think we have to be careful with that. Sorry, who <laughs> said that? The thing that Juice Plus will cure those conditions. It's, yeah, because you're, you're saying, well, if you've got um, low energy, it means that Juice Plus is going to cure that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, when you think about it, 99.9% .9 of people incre have increased energy when they're on Juice Plus, but we can't actually say that it, every person is going to get that result. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's really just being on, uh, authentic, honest, and just creating, you know, things. Bottom that, line. It's yeah, being that, that's it. Just being, it's being you. you. It's being authentic. You've got to be you and, you know, add value the way that you add value. You know, and I, I think, you know, the important thing is that you're not afraid to be yourself, to share part of a part of yourself, you know, and you do that really well, Kieran. You do that really well. Oh, yeah, it's, I, I have, I have no complaints. It, like I said, I just, I haven't sort of attracted the, um, the JP side of things as far as being authentic and getting reaction from people saying, please keep posting, you know, the inspirational side of things, the vulnerability side of things, that, that stuff I've got down because I've actually had people message me and say, please don't stop what you're doing because you have no idea how much you've helped me. Mm -hmm. So that that's good. It's just, you know, yeah. just asking to, so I can push my envelope in, in, in a direction where I seem to get more interest on the JP side of things. That's yeah. it. Adding new friends is really going to help that, Kieran. It's okay. really going to help that. So, okay. you know, and remember that looking at the quality of your friendships, you're not just adding any old person. You're just, right. you're okay. adding people who you really relate to, people who you are attracted to, I suppose, not in a weird kind of way. But, you, you know, I mean, you <laughs> think weird. Yeah. Oh, weird. weird men. Thanks, Karen. So <laughs> when you're thinking about your tribe, who you are trying to attract, you so you're looking at, so in the suggested friends, is that someone yes. that you would love to attract to your team or that sure. you would love, yeah, to, you'd love to help? So, yeah. yeah. I'll get there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when I add new friends, a lot of my customers come from new friends. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's just because you're having a general conversation with them and they're seeing your post and they're going, oh, wow, can you tell me about that? I want to know more. So it's not that you're going out and chasing them. You're just being yourself and they come to you. Still yeah. in the, the baby stages of mastering the art of that. Yeah. That's all. Being you. It comes. You know, it comes. It's, it's time. It's practice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was reading something can take the big leap or the big leap about mm -hmm. personas, and that's yeah. really helped me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should yeah, have that one there, shouldn't I, Molly? 
Loach, did you have a question, honey? Because I'm just aware of the time. Um, it wasn't really a question. It was just in response to what you were saying, Karen. Before, yes. I just wanted to say that it's it's not necessarily better to go faster. I mean, yeah, you get all your bonuses. <laughs> okay, like I did all yeah. of that, but then yeah. I kind of I crashed and burnt out and disappeared for a while. Right. <laughs> and a lot of leaders talk about that they didn't get any of the bonuses. They just right. grew slowly, steadily, yeah. and now they've got these empires. So I, I feel your frustration, but it's not it's not a bad thing. It's just it just is what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I, I haven't I honest it's different for me. I haven't taken it yeah. as a bad thing. It's just like, oh, okay. You know, you have those moments where you're like, eh. but you know, that's the universe's way of saying to me, slow the hell down. It's mm -hmm. all good. Everything's coming. So Kira had yeah. the same thing. Kira, just what Loach was saying. Kira yeah. missed her yeah. bonuses. She missed her first bonuses. It took her like yeah. you know, a year before she's like, Oh, hang on a minute, maybe I should do something about yeah. this. You know, so it's it's all it's all time, and that what that for her was all self development in her first year. It was all about growing herself. Yeah. It's all relative, eh? It's all relative. You look at me, how I just banged them all out, and then I just disappeared for fifteen months. But you were <laughs> growing yourself in that time. I had to go and grow myself outside of um of this tribe and somewhere else, and now I've come back. So it's yeah. it's all relative, I reckon. Oh, for sure, I agree, mm. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but the beauty is that Loach, even though she fell off for, for 15 months, mm. she actually stayed in the company. <laughs> she's still on her same promotional level. Yeah. So yeah. even though she lost all her customers because her customer care kind of fell away, she's actually still getting paid as an SDVF. Nice. She's still getting the same commission, the same retail profit. So that's the beauty of this business. It doesn't mm. matter how long you take. It doesn't matter if you do nothing for months, you're still going to stay on the same pay rate. You're still going to get paid the same. You're still going to, as long as you've got customers that keep paying their, for their product, you're going to get paid every month. Yeah. Cool, Leo. So it, it's, it doesn't matter, Karen. Good. It's all good. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. a fabulous job, honey. Growing well, I'm doing yes. Yeah. Self development, I ain't complaining. I'm all good. We're moving we're moving forward. That's really all I care about at this point. <laughs> Always yeah. momentum, not going backwards. So you know, thanks that's guys. True. That's true. And that's another thing. You can never go backwards. It's the only time you can ever go backwards is if you do nothing. Oh. Yeah, like what Loach did for fifteen months, eh, honey? <laughs> She's doing a little bit. <laughs> and hey, then she lost her customers. Loach was still taking the products. That's still something. We're all good. Exactly. You know, and Loach. I got my tax return. I got my tax return back. Um, I just yeah. claimed it on my product and I got money back. I didn't have to pay any. So there you go. Exactly. Well, all good. <laughs> yeah, great, eh? Still get paid. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all right, lovelies. Well, I'm going to um leave you now because it's like been an hour that we've been talking i was yeah. only going to stay on for half an hour so we've done all right thanks guys appreciate yeah. it thank you bye bye